Hi, what's up, guys? This is Hafiz, and welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to share a method to make a multi OS bootable USB. When we say multi OS bootable, it means you can have several operating systems inside a single bootable USB, and you can select which one to boot from. So, if you want to be an advanced tech guy, then you must stop carrying multiple USBs for each operating system. Like for me, before I have a dedicated USB stick for Windows 7, for Windows 10, and for Linux operating systems. So what if we can make a single USB stick to have multiple operating systems on it? Yes, we can do it. And I'm going to share the method with you guys right now. So the software that we are going to use for this magical USB is Ventoy. Let's open the website ventoy.net. I have given the link of this software in the description below. You can go ahead and check in description also. So before we download this software, click on this tested ISO in the top menu and scroll down. Here you can see the list of operating systems that will work with Ventoy. In Windows area, you can see it supports Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11 and other operating systems like Windows Servers 2016, 19 and 2020-22 as well. In Linux, you can see there is a huge list of operating systems that will work with Ventoy. And there is Chrome OS as well. So let's go to the download area. We'll click on this download button here in top menu. And here we are going to download Windows version of this Ventoy software. So I will click on this link. And here you can see we are here on GitHub page. And if I go down a little, and here you can see there is Windows.zip file. So let's download Ventoy and see how we can prepare this USB. So I'll click on this link and click start download. A few seconds left in our download. So our download is completed. So let's open download folder. Here you can see I got this zip file in my uh, downloads folder. So I will extract this file. I will right click on this and click extract here. So we got this folder. I will open this folder. And here inside this folder you have to run Ventoy to this utility. It is an executable file. I will double click on this. Before you run this, you need to make sure that you have plugged a USB stick that we are going to use as a Ventoy or multi OS bootable USB. So I have plugged already one USB. So you can see my USB is empty. There is no data inside. So I will double click on Ventoy to disk utility and click yes here. Now here you can see in Ventoy to disk utility window. Uh, in the device area, my USB is detected already. So I'm going to uh, click on install and it's giving us warning. If there is any data, it will be gone. So no problem. We know already our USB is empty. So I will click on yes and click yes again. It will take some time. So you can see we got success message. I'll click OK and that's all I can close this window now so guys our USB is ready and in my computer I have different operating systems you can see I have image file of CentOS Kali Linux Windows 7 and Windows Server 2012 and Windows 10 right click and copy all these files inside my USB I will paste them here. To save the time, I will pause the video here and we will continue when it's done. So we have now only few seconds left. So that's it. Now all operating systems are here. You can see all the files are copied properly. Now if you want to add more operating systems here, simply just copy and paste the ISO file of that operating system. So my USB is steady. Now I will try this USB on my laptop. So guys, I'm here on my laptop. I have one old Dell laptop. So I will test this USB on this laptop. You can see I have here uh, my uh, Kingston USB, which we have prepared with Ventoy software. 
So now I'm going to plug this USB in this laptop and we'll try to boot this USB and see what happens. So I have already plugged this inside this laptop. So I'll power on this. Okay, now I will press F10 to reach into the boot menu. You can see here boot options, you need to press F12. So guys, you can see I have boot menu here. So we have to choose USB storage device and hit enter. Now you can see it's loaded with Ventoy screen. You can see a very nice menu is here and all our operating systems are listed here in this menu. You can see these five operating systems are here. Windows Server, Windows 7, 10, Kali Linux and CentOS. So let's try to boot uh, with one of them. Let me try Windows 10 first. There you go. You can see it's loading Windows 10 uh, setup. The initial uh, installation screen of Windows 10 is loading. So there you go, you can see we are reached here in Windows uh, Windows 10 setup. So I will reboot and try to boot from another operating system. Again, I will press F12 to reach in my boot menu and select USB storage device. Venta is loading. Now uh, let's try uh, Windows Server 2012 or let's try Kali Linux. We have already tried one Windows operating system. Now let's try one Linux operating system. I will boot with Kali Linux. There you go. You can see we got one initial screen, which is uh, which is asking us, do you want to install graphical install? Okay, we, okay. We will select graphical install and hit enter. So now you can see Kali Linux uh, setup is loading and it's working perfectly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel and hit bell icon for more technical stuff like this. Thanks.